Paris. Colette Mays welcomes me warmly into her apartment on the 14th floor of a building overlooking the Seine River. From her flowered balcony, she has a view of the Eiffel Tower. She offers me a whiskey or a cognac, along with a hearty laugh, as it's 10.30 in the morning. It's that humor, a sense of optimism and her beloved piano that have buttressed and comforted this centenarian through an often difficult life. Mays has just released her sixth album at the age of 107. While she lives alone, on this day her 71-year-old son Fabrice Mays has joined us. Colette sits down to play her Steinway Baby Grand, one of two pianos she owns, with her grey tabby cat, Tigru, stretched out on the carpet near her feet. Across the room is the play L piano she received on her 18th birthday. Mays began playing at the age of 5. Her grandmother played piano, and her mother the violin. She remembers concerts at their grand Paris apartment when she was a child. But Mays, born on June 16, 1914, says her mother was severe and unloving. So she turned to music for the affection she lacked at home. I always preferred composers who gave me tenderness, she says. Like, Robert, Schumann and, Claude, Debussy. The fact that she grew up just steps away from Paris' prestigious École Normale de Musique, is one example. She auditioned for, and was granted, a spot with its director, legendary pianist Alfred Cortot. Mays's other early instructors included virtuoso pianists Nadia Boulanger and Jean Blanchard. She remembers Blanchard had tiny hands, just like her. Mays received deep and rigorous musical instruction from an early age and aspired to become a professional. But that wasn't easy for a girl in the early 20th century. The piano was meant to be a pastime, not a career. For her parents, it was inconceivable that she become a musician. She remembers taking final exams. There were several levels and the top one was concert pianist, she says. I just missed it because my parents wouldn't let me stay in our apartment with a piano while they were away. They thought I might make a mess, so they put me in the maid's room upstairs, which had no piano, so I couldn't adequately prepare. Mays did attain the second level, qualifying her to teach. <laughs>